Okay. Um, I've been asked a couple of times about um, Windows Hello um, and Zscaler Client Connector and how all that functionality works, um, or more specifically whether it works at all. So uh, I thought I'd run a demonstration of it um, from first principles. Um, I've got a hybrid AD joined device here, so it's joined to Active Directory and it's joined to Azure AD. Um, and uh, at the moment it's just configured uh, on the network it's part of the uh, the domain you can see down here it's connected to the domain um, so we'll sign in locally oh, um, sign in locally uh, I'll sign into the domain um, and uh, and we'll go through uh, what's going to happen here uh, so first off I'm entering my password um, it's authenticating to the domain it's pulling down the group policy it's synchronizing my um, options and everything here um, and Zscaler Client Connector is not in play at the moment um, so uh, in fact we won't run command we'll go to uh, PowerShell um, we'll open a PowerShell uh, we'll open a PowerShell um, and there's an administrator as well um, So in my user configuration, if I do um, ds reg cmd status, um, it's going to go off and it's going to check um, is the device hybrid joined. Um, just return back some information on that. Um, it'll take a little second whilst it runs that. Um, whilst that's uh, pulling up. I will uh, come in here, I'll show you um, my account settings, which reflect this. Um, we are uh, joined to Azure AD, um, synchronized, um, and we're joined to Active Directory. Okay, so if we look in here, we can see Your AD joined with domain joined. Um, got the device name and everything else um, associated with it. Um, so all kind of set up here. We've got our uh, Azure AD primary refresh token. Um, we're not um, federated, um, so everything is authenticated against um, Azure AD. I've got password hash sync running so I won't get an enterprise PRT because my ADFS server is not involved at that point um, okay so that's the, the, the configuration so what we'll do is we'll jump across to remote desktop um, this is my group policy I'm using group policy here because it's slightly faster to synchronize than um, um, Azure AD sync um, is so We've got our um, settings in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to in the wrong part here. Windows components, um, uh, Windows Hello for Business, um, and so we're going to set a couple of things. Um, now I don't have any hardware security because um, it's a virtual machine I'm running in, so I can't set any of this. Um, but what I do want to say is use Windows Hello for Business uh, smart card enabled um, and use smart card for on-premise. Um, and what that's basically saying is that when I set the, the pin, I'm going to use um, pin mode um, for Windows Hello, um, that that's going to be used in place of my um, uh, my password and that password is what would normally go off and get me my primary refresh token from Azure AD and my Kerberos tickets um, from um, Active Directory. So this is this is set in this group policy object. Um, we close this now um, and we uh, refresh uh, the group policy object. Um, computer configuration, uh, administrative templates, 
um, Windows Hello for Business, use certificate, use Windows Hello for Business, um, and certificates on smart card. Use Windows Hello for Business certificates as smart card certificates. Um, so I can come back across to my machine here. Um, just before I do that, let me just do a K list. You can see I've got Kerberos tickets because I logged in with my password um, when I did that initially. Um, so it's got my uh, ticket granting ticket um, uh, here, and I've got a ticket for my um, SIFS server because that's where my group policy objects and my net logon, uh, my profile is. So I can do a GP update uh, force. I'll go off and it'll talk to Active Directory. Um, it'll pull down all those group policy objects and synchronize all of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually restart the machine. Because generally, what would happen is the machine would be built group policy would be, or it'd be autopilot, it would be built, it would be joined to the domain and everything. User would get the machine, um, and the machine would then be configured for all these kind of things. So it should start me here with a password, or sign in options with a pin, and say, okay, well, I've forgot my pin, so I'll, I'll sign in with my password uh, now. Trying to simulate the first principles of getting the machine, signing in with your password, and being asked to, to set up your PIN. Um, didn't kind of like that. Let's um, go in here, account settings, sign in options. Let's change the PIN. purpose of setting the pin and doing it this way is because that's then going to be encrypted um, using all the device information and stored locally so that that pin is then used this, so this is going off and talking to Active Directory uh, talking to Azure AD getting all of those certificates necessary for that to function um, and so now if I uh, sign out It should allow me to sign in. With the pin. OK, so I've now signed in with my pin. But I still have all of my Kerberos tickets. Or I still get all of my tickets. Go off and check our um, status here. <laughs> Does seem to be taking a little longer. Um, not entirely sure why that is. Okay, so let's um, scroll up and have a look through this now. So we start off where is your AD joined? Device information, um, device or failed for some reason, but I think that's. Um, because there's no TPM. We're joined to the tenant. Uh, NGC set is the, um, the fact that I've got a, uh, a pin. Um, not workplace joined because I'm hybrid joined. I got my Azure PRT. I got my ticket granting ticket for the cloud um, and all of my uh, credentials there. So um, I'm signed in. I've got all of my um, device information, everything. So what I'm going to do now um, is uh, install Zscaler Client Connector. So I've got my Client Connector installed there. 
I've got a, a configuration file, an installer that just installs that, that file. So if I run install.bat, it's going to go off and uh, install Zscaler client connector. launch there and it's going to start um, it's going to auto sign in because um, I'm part of the domain so we've got multi-factor auth enabled signed in and connected. Now I go over here, change the adapter options because I'm, I'm part of the domain at the moment. I'm on the physical network. So now if I come over here and I'm going to change my DNS settings uh, here, properties, let's point them instead of at my domain controller, we'll simulate being in a coffee shop, look at Coe's, um, and um, so if we run, uh, click here, get net connection profile. This is basically querying what, where, where, what is my network location as far as Windows firewall and um, the main functions are concerned. So if I go get net adapter and pipe it through restart net adapter. So if I bounce the network adapter, it'll cause the net uh, location awareness process to uh, reassess. See here, it's going to start identifying because Zscaler Client Connector is running with Zscaler Private Access. It enables that functionality to work. Okay, so up to now we've demonstrated um, Windows Hello, or well, we've de demonstrated logging into Windows with a password. We've demonstrated setting the group policy object to configure Windows Hello. Um, we've then been able to set the pin, log in with the pin, and we've shown that the multi-factor auth uh, for deploying Zscaler Client Connector works transparently. Um, so what we can now do, let's uh, let's go back and we'll restart the machine. Um, two reasons to restart the machine. One is I wanted to go back to the logon process. Um, and the second reason is that I want to take that logon process from first principles, demonstrating that there's nothing cached, but also showing that we get all of those uh, primary refresh tokens, all of the Kerberos ticketing and, and everything based on the Windows Hello credential. Okay, so the device is restarting. Okay, and we're taken to the sign-in page. Um, I should have mentioned earlier when I installed the Windows, uh, the Zscaler Client Connector, um, and I put in the policy token, um, or I showed you that as part of the installer bat file, um, that's enabling it with uh, machine tunnels. So if we uh, go ahead and click here, we can see that because it's got Zscaler Client Connector running, Zscaler Diagnostics, um, we are connected to the domain pre Windows logon. Um, so what that means is that when I enter my password here, uh, sorry, my, my PIN number at that point, that PIN is going to go ahead and it's going to uh, unlock in the trusted module. It's going to go off and it's going to uh, use those um, credentials to get the certificate, which is going to use the certificate to authenticate to the uh, Active Directory um, and get all of my uh, Kerberos tickets. And it's going to be using that um, to talk to Azure AD and get the primary refresh token. Um, and now 
it is logging in with those credentials and pulling down all of my group policy objects and my uh, Windows profile, which is a backup of everything in my um, uh, user directory. So we're signed in here. If we run a command, um, you can um, see we go to K list. Um, so even though I signed in with the pin, I've still got my Kerberos tickets. Um, and we run that DS reg CMD status. Whilst that's uh, opening, oh, there we go. Got all of the um, uh, configuration details in there. Uh, so we've got the primary refresh token. Uh, we updated it uh, previously. Um, it's a new primary refresh token um, and we're all connected and everything there. Um, if we open up uh, Edge, for example, Edge should show us as signed in. And so I can go to, uh, let's go to My Apps. So I'm signed in transparently. Uh, because I've got that primary refresh token and I can go to uh, HTTPS uh, DC3 uh, cert serve. go to my certificate server which I know is Kerberos authenticated and I can um, automatically sign in there. It's also worth uh, noting if we go to management console oh, add remove snap in uh, certificates, go to my user account and we'll do a certificates a computer account. Uh, under my personal certificates, so this is uh, the smart card logon, this is what's used essentially to authenticate the user um, and the private key is um, essentially what that pin is using. Um, to unlock and that will then used, be used to authenticate to Azure AD and get my Kerberos tickets. That's basically how that's kind of functioning. Um, and then um, the computer account, um, these are my, uh, these are the certificates issued by Azure AD, uh, again for those primary refresh tokens uh, to be uh, retrieved. So, um, we're now signed in. Um, Everything's, everything's working. Let's uh, close this down. Um, we are uh, part of the domain. Uh, what I will also demonstrate now is it's open Zscaler, so we're signed in here. If we now go and uh, log out. And click log in again. should now entirely transparently authenticate. So I wasn't prompted for that multi-factor because the device is entirely hybrid joined, Windows Hello for Business is enabled. And so the, the, the second factor, as far as Azure AD is concerned, um, is the fact that I'm a hybrid joined device um, with multi-factor auth enabled. And that second factor is the Hello for Business. So um, enabling Hello for Business meant that I didn't actually, and, and I installed Zscaler Client Connector on this device, I didn't need that second factor um, that time that I, that I installed it. That was really should have happened the first time that I, it ran, but um, I'm not sure why that didn't happen. So there we go, Windows Hello for Business. Um, uh, the first principles of signing in with AD account and Azure AD account, uh, setting the GPO um, and configuring the pin, um, rebooting the machine and signing in with that pin, uh, getting all of the Kerberos tickets and the primary refresh tokens based on those certificates, and um, deploying Zscaler Client Connector, uh, but taking advantage of all of that, um, giving us transparent um, single sign-on to the device, um, giving us access to Active Directory, um, and using that with the pre-Windows logon on the uh, device uh, machine tunnels uh, with Zscaler Client Connector, meaning that I can get all of those uh, tokens um, when I'm off network. Uh, hope that was useful. Mark at zscaler.com.